In today's video, I would like to introduce Absinthe Stack Analyzer, which is a verification tool provided by um, the company Absinthe. It computes safe upper bounds on the maximum stack usage of individual tasks in embedded systems. And so, using Stack Analyzer, you can uh, exclude stack overflow problems um, on these applications. For motivation, um, as you probably know that in these safety critical embedded systems the stack area is, the, is typically the only dynamically managed um, memory area. So that means um, people um, usually do not uh, make usage of heap allocation in safety critical systems. Um, the stack area is um, managed or is filled uh, whenever you call a function in your application. That means a new stack frame will be generated. And on this stack frame, um, the function's locals, local variables, or uh, but also intermediate values produced by the compiler, but also the function parameters and the return address of the function will be stored in this um, function frame. So that means um, at the end finding a worst case stack usage um, of a task in such an embedded system means um, finding the worst case call scenario or um, this scenario leading to the widest range um, uh, for the stack area. So the challenge hereby is that you have to know the worst case or the maximum stack usage of um, your tasks um, at configuration time of your real-time operating system. And if you underestimate that stack usage, this might cause um, severe stack overflow problems, which are um, hard um, to recognize and really hard to reproduce and fix. And of course, which can cause um, wrong reactions and program crashes. A uh, traditional approach to determine uh, stack usages um, were these so-called pollution checks. So people filled the stack areas with um, common patterns. So these um, four A's were quite common um, in the 16-bit um, architectures. And then they simulated the application with um, um, input parameters and variables and let the system run for a very long time. And at the end, um, one could monitor the maximum stack usage by investigating that bit, bit pattern, um, especially if there were some bit flips, um, from which you could conclude a kind of maximum stack usage. But what is clear is that this approach can never give you any guarantee. It is very error prone and expensive, and what you typically observe is um, yeah, a generic or a typical stack usage, uh, which can be very different from uh, maximum stack usage or worst case stack usage. So that means these dynamic testing approaches can never give you a worst case guarantee. And it's also unclear when to stop um, these kind of testings. Um, um, because you would have to know that you have already observed or triggered the system with worst case input scenarios. The approach of Stack Analyzer is different because Stack Analyzer is a sound program analysis based um, analyzer that computes always safe upper bounds on the stack usage. Um, for tasks in your program and that independent of the program's input. Um, the underlying theory or technique is called abstract interpretation in order to reach this soundness. What you need as input is, uh, or the primary input, is an executable of your application, typically in the L format, and it must be fully linked. That means all library code must be statically linked into the executable. We also recommend to compile um, the executable with dwarf debug info because then you have the relation back to the original source code. Another input is the, uh, is the set of entry points because um, you would analyze um, individual tasks separately. And uh, the last input for a stack analyzer are the so-called um, user annotations or specifications where you provide additional information to the analyzer, uh, analyzer about um, the program structure, for instance. 
And then what you get outside of Stackanalyzer is, uh, as I said, worst case stack usage for individual tasks, but also the visualization um, of the worst case path means um, that call history leading to a worst case stack usage. And of course, an extensive documentation in the various output formats. Let me give you a short demo directly inside the tool. For the demonstration, I've chosen uh, the Stack Analyzer for the PowerPC architecture. Stack Analyzer is available for various um, uh, processor architectures and compiler combinations. Uh, for this demo, I uh, am using PowerPC and I'm Open, opening here the Epsynt Advanced Analyzer, a cube tool, uh, where the Stack Analyzer is one analysis type uh, integrated to it. So I have prepared a small um, demo application, which is called Scenarios, and it comes with uh, three tasks, one millisecond, five millisecond, and a 10 millisecond task, and two interrupt service uh, routines here. So remember, as an input for the stack analysis, uh, we need the um, ELF executable, which I provide here. Um, we have already provided here a set of entry points, namely those five, um, the three tasks and the two interrupt service routines. And there are already some prepared um, user specifications um, provided in um, the ICE file here. So let us start um, now an analysis of the first millisecond task can do that by clicking on the play button and then the uh, analysis steps will be performed namely to the first step or the first process is to decode um, the task from uh, the entry point which we have specified here and then this is the functions entry uh, where we want to start uh, performing the stack analysis and then the static program analysis is performed it's in um, yeah, uh, static uh, value analysis um, at the end, which performance or which uh, computes um, intervals of uh, possible values for all variables in the program at every instruction, and at the end uh, we are determining it this for on on binary level for registers and memory cells, and that means we can also uh, we do know the the content of um, the stack pointer register at every instruction point, from which we can conclude it at the last phase the longest path through the task. So in this case. The result was now determined, uh, which is 112 bytes, and we can visualize this result by clicking on um, this button. So let me make that here a bit bigger, so you can see the um, uh, overall result was 112 bytes um, for on the maximum stack usage for this entry point, and you also see the call graph visualized here. Um, uh, which consists of um, call nodes and call edges between these um, call nodes. And um, what you can also see is uh, the red path here. This is indicating um, the actual worst case path where that calling uh, scenario leading to the highest um, value for uh, for the stack usage. And that means, um, in other words, um, there will be no other path or calling scenario possible leading to a higher stack usage than the computed 112 um, bytes. So what you can also do, you can enter a function and you can see um, the control flow uh, of this function. So in this case, the entry function task one millisecond can starts, uh, of course, with a level of zero bytes. And then the very first instructions, as you can see here, um, allocate um, t uh, 32 bytes uh, on the stack, since the R1 register here is um, the stack pointer register. And then um, we follow um, the, the control flow to identify um, yeah, the, the worst case uh, usage, stack usage here for this routine. Stack Analyzer also automatically determines um, or finds recursions in the analyzed tasks. In this example, we have an indirect recursion between those two routines here, the OS error hook calling user error handler, which can call back again the standard OS error hook. 
you can even visualize recursion components by selecting the corresponding uh, component here and you see that those routines involved in the recursion are colorized here in this purple um, color. If you tick the option exclusive, uh, you, uh, the, the call graph will be uh, reduced to only those routines um, in uh, the selected recursion component uh, together with um, those uh, routines entering um, this recursion component, component to better inspect um, the recursion and uh, to find out if this uh, recursion is bounded and um, what is the incarnation limit of um, this recursion, um, which will be then provided in, a la in the next step as an annotation um, to the stack analyzer to bound this uh, cycle, this recursion. If you do not select a recursion component and tick the exclusive option, then the worst case path will be shown only in the visualization um, yeah, to better inspect um, this uh, longest path. In addition to uh, this visualization, we also offer an advanced um, statistics. If you click here on this um, pie chart symbol, um, you will get an overview about the um, stack usages for the individual functions uh, that has been decoded in this task. So you see the local maxima here. Um, this can help you uh, or get the information um, to identify yeah, hotspots in, in, in your task. So those routines um, which lead uh, or need most um, uh, of the stack usage. And uh, you see also the worst case path here in the tabular uh, form because here for in the global maximum you see only those function contributing um, to this worst case um, stack usage. Um, there are some, some other statistics here like, like loop bounds or invisibility statistics or those uh, source files um, which are included or which, which are uh, used to um, compile this um, executable. In addition to this um, interactive results, you can also ha have access to the various output formats or reporting files. So we have a textual report file, um, an XML based report file and also an HTML report file. So let me open the last one to show you the content. So the HTML report file first gives you an, an information about um, the version number that has been used to produce the results of Stack Analyzer, um, the overall result of course, but also a textual version of um, the worst case path leading to this result. And um, also shows this um, table um, about the contributions for each routine to the overall worst case. And concludes with um, statistics about the number of warnings uh, and error messages. Let me summarize the benefits of Stack Analyzer. Stack Analyzer is an abstract interpretation based uh, static program analyzer which calculates safe and precise upper bounds uh, on the maximum stack usage of individual tasks in your embedded system. It can prove the absence of stack overflows um, considering the binary code that need not to be modified or instrument. And the calculated result will be generically valid for all inputs and all ex execution scenarios. Of course, it also takes into account all loops and uh, recursions it found and um, also inline assembly code and library functions as these parts of the code has been uh, statically linked to the executable as well. So um, Stack Analyzer is um, perfectly suited for an automatic tool qualification as it uh, supports uh, or uh, adheres the um, various safety standards like the ISO 26262 up to the highest criticality level, which would be ACLD, uh, TCL3 here, or the DO's uh, 78B or C standard uh, up to level A. Stack Analyzer is already um, available for, um, ver for the various um, processor architectures and compiler combinations. Here is an um, overview. Um, about the supported um, platforms. 
if you if you would like to check if your system's architecture and compiler environment is supported by Stackanalyzer, please do not hesitate to visit our website. You can see the link below. And in case of any questions or doubts, please do not hesitate to contact us um, via email, for instance, the info at absinth.com, or have a look to our uh, website again. Thank you very much for your interest.